Hey guys, so this is my first time doing a 2 versus 2 alongside with a Beast Mastery Hunter. So it's going to be interesting doing a mobile drain team. The enemy team is another Beast Mastery Hunter along with a Preservation Evoker. So ready, put in your head, there's going to be a lot of mobility, so you're going to need to keep up. Our main target for this match is going to be the Evoker. I went ahead and I selected the Ledger Q PvP talent. So most of the time, hey, I'm going to be purging as much as I can. Get those hots, get those buffs, everything off that evoker. And throughout the fight, keep an eye on the bottom right corner, the details add on. My damage is coming from the frost shocks, electrocute, the dot from the fire shocks, and lava burst. And positioning here is kind of hard because even if you go ahead behind the pillar you're still gonna have all these pets doing damage to you so I'm trying to just keep moving around so I don't get hit with a frost trap plus if you break a line of sight you can't purge and you're gonna lose that momentum because then that evoker is gonna recover and heals I'm also using my healing totems to keep the mobility so I don't have to stop and hard cast a lot Plus, I'm trying to stay behind my partner and use him as a little meat barrier. And remember, just keep purging whatever you can off that evoker. Because besides you stopping them from healing, you're also doing damage to them. Looking at the bottom right details add-on, right now I'm doing more damage than the other hunter. And right now with our slows, our roots, our stuns, I mean we're controlling their mobility. Because wherever we're stopping them at, we're repositioning and forcing them to pick another path of travel. And this is what I mean about you trying to break the line of sight. You're going to have those pets on you, you're going to have that hunter just reconnecting. So there's really no point if you're trying to play peek with these guys. Just keep up with the mobility. Good call, my partner right there, rooting all the enemy pets in place. So yeah, so me and the Evoker did almost the same amount of heals. And me and the enemy Hunter did almost the same amount of damage. Different was, me and my partner trained the enemy healer. The enemy healer kept trying to crowd control me. And the enemy Hunter was going back and forth in damage, splitting it up between me and my partner. 